My name is Lorna James and I'm a soprano in the Chorus of Opera North. My name is Claire Pascoe and I sing mezzo-soprano in the Chorus of Opera North. I've been singing with the Chorus of Opera North for uh, just about four years now as a full-time member of the Chorus, full-time permanent member of the Chorus, and then for a year or so before that I was singing as an extra choristess. I joined the Chorus in 1996 when I came straight from music college and I've been here ever since. A chorus is essentially a group of singers, uh, opera singers, who are split into four voice types mainly, soprano, mezzo, tenor and bass. And within those voice parts you normally have people singing the same line, although sometimes we get split up as well, just for a richer texture, more kind of harmonic texture. But in opera, the chorus is dramatically a group of people which is required by the composer and the librettist to help tell the story. So as a group of people we can be anything. We can be peasants, we can be princes and princesses, we can be noble people, we can be members of a town, members of a very close-knit village. It makes everything seem a bit more realistic than just two star-crossed lovers singing at each other when they're meant to be at a ball but there's nobody else at the ball, for example. There are 36 of us who are employed full time, but sometimes you need more people. For example, when we did Greek Passion, we had an awful lot of extra choristers. They are colleagues who are brought in just to sing in that one opera. And we went up from 36 to I think 44, maybe even more. There could be nearly 50 of us on stage. So you can imagine the wall of sound that we created in that piece. It can really vary from production to production. And then on the other side, sometimes we do what's called a reduced chorus, and that will normally be for pieces like The Marriage of Figaro or chamber operas. And in that case, sometimes there's only three or four of us to a part, so a total of kind of 12 to 16 singers. 